Intel is bringing 14 nanometers back, Spotify finally goes lossless, and 50 series super delayed a scooch. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This Friday, September 12th, 2025. I'm gonna start off today with the reminder that tomorrow is our in-person community day for my goodbye party, I guess is the easiest way to describe it as I'm prepping for my international move. So if you wanna come say hi, get involved in some of the giveaways that we've got going on, or just potentially uh, uh, play some games at the eSports Center that we're doing it at, you can stop by at Resonine eSports tomorrow, 12 to 8 p.m. is when we're having this event. We do have a whole bunch of prizes from our sponsors who have provided various different things. We've got things from Thermaltake, we've got things from Height, we have Intel providing stuff as well, as ASRock and MSI and uh, Falcon Northwest providing the $5,000 Tiki that is gonna be also on display over there. We've got a lot of good stuff going on for that as well as getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff from UFD Tech, both with giveaway prizes as well as with auctioning them off for the charity that we are raising money for during this whole thing. We're not really doing a, a live stream charity fundraiser like we've done every year since UFD Tech started and we're instead doing this. We're raising money for a center in Pretoria, South Africa that caters to helping people with special needs and disabilities, which is near and dear to my heart because of uh, personal experience. And so if you can't make it to the event, I would love it if you could donate to the organization that will get you extra entries into the giveaway for the Falcon Northwest Tiki, as well as my Falcon Northwest Talon with Reese's face on it. So uh, all of that's happening. I would love to see you there tomorrow. If you can, uh, RSVP, that would be helpful for us in terms of getting a count on who's gonna be showing up. And if you can count, you can count that it's been a very, very long time since 14 nanometers launched for Intel. Started with Skylake all the way back in, I believe, 2016. And now we are getting yet another chip that is based on that 14 nanometer process, the Core i5-110. Yeah, weird little CPU getting announced yesterday with six cores, 12 threads. It's essentially the Core i5-10400, which is Comet Lake, but it's now going to be called the Core i5-110. It's not being released on a new socket, it just has a different name and it doesn't even have a different price. So in 2025, they are just changing the name of the 10400 and calling it the 110 to line up with other naming schemes, I guess, but they're also calling it the Core i5, whereas they've dropped the i nomenclature from current generations of CP. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What is this Intel? I got nothing to really give an explanation for it, but we do know that according to Intel themselves, they confirmed that we will get Arrow Lake refresh next year and then Nova Lake at the end of the year, allegedly, if there's no delays. So you have that to look forward to, I suppose, but in case you don't wanna wait that long, you should definitely check out today's video sponsor. Cause you know, all you gamers and tech fellows are the same. You want the new bestest stuff, but you all have a crazy soft spot for nostalgia. If you're looking to scratch the itch of yesteryear, then you should check out all the retro gaming goodies that today's sponsor Jawa has for you. Jawa, also known as the number one place to buy and sell PC hardware online, has everything from memorabilia, like artwork and collectibles, to consoles, handhelds, and games. We spotted this PlayStation Classic here for only 75 bones. Fun fact, this thing is older than the Zoomer who wrote the script, and that dude is 28. Hardware isn't the only thing Java takes seriously, though. They're committed to providing safe and secure transactions, whether you're buying or selling, especially oldies that remember the PlayStation Classic. We know how the elderly are online. As an added measure of reassurance, Jawa makes sure that every listing is manually reviewed by a real employee before going live, and certain sellers get the verified by Jawa seal of approval. Now, if something from this century is more your speed, Jawa has tons of goodies to pick from. They've got GPUs, CPUs, and even ready-to-go gaming PCs. With over 10,000 gaming PCs bought and sold on Jawa, you can trust they know what they're doing. A helpful little feature they've got is their PC Finder. Confused about what you need for the game you play and the monitor you have, easy. Put all that info into the PC Finder and you'll be presented with all the PCs that fit your exact gaming needs. Once you find your perfect 30-year-old console or a brand new pre-built PC, feel free to brag about it in the Jawa's community Discord. It's the perfect spot to share tips, deals, or whatever else tech nerds talk about. Check out everything Jawa has to offer via the link in the description below and remember to use code UFD10 for 10% off up to 10 bucks. As always, a huge thank you to Jawa for sponsoring. But we gotta talk about 
about more uh, weird things that Intel's doing, not just the i5-110, but also they're changing up the executive team a little bit. They're getting rid of one of their previous co-CEOs and promoting Jim Johnson to senior vice president and general manager of the client computing group, which was run previously by Michelle Johnson Holdhouse, who was with Intel for 30 years, served as co-CEO after the departure of Pat Gelsinger, and now is no longer with the company. I have no commentary on what this means, the implications of all the details for that. All I know is that there are just more and more changes and shakeups happening at Intel. And Height has a little shaking up going on right now because their thick Q80 cooler, which is their massive trio fan chunky monkey CPU cooler, it's, it's leaking and you shouldn't use it and you should definitely contact them for the recall and the refund because they have some issues going on. Height saying that there's a fragile internal component that's potentially getting shaken up during transportation causing damage and that's making it so that it ultimately could fail as part of your cooler so you should stop using it immediately and that this is a limited issue only to the Q80 and that they're going to work with their customers to make sure that you're either refunded or you know everything's made right for you but just in case you picked up a Q80 you don't want you don't want water on your your pc parts do you or if you do they don't swim just just so you know and i don't i don't know if free swims i've never seen them do it yo welcome back to ufd deals bringing the hottest tech deals on the internet happy friday everyone hope you guys are doing well and hey here's the deals starting off we have this asus a21 micro atx case available in white for only 50 dollars 99 cents making it 19 dollars off but then next up we have this thermal right frozen vision 360 argb black v2 aio cpu liquid cooler for only 79 dollars 20 cents making it 19 dollars 80 cents off which is a phenomenal price for an aio with a screen and then lastly today we have your msrp warning with this gigabyte geforce rtx 5080 WinForce OC going for only $9.99.99. And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Well, Reese, turns out that people with Spotify are getting a better deal than they thought because if you're a premium member, you are getting lossless audio. This is something that was rumored to have cost an extra amount on top of the premium plan that's currently out there. But being reported that, that they were gonna release this years ago, they have now finally said that lossless is finally happening. But again, with no specific release date in mind, they did say that you need Wi-Fi or USB using Spotify connection in order to get the 24-bit 44 kilohertz FLAC files that you're going to be able to listen to on your headphones with Spotify. It's supposed to be in 50 markets by the end of October, but again, no specific launch date for this. It's just going to be rolling out sometime in the near future for no extra money if you're already a premium member. And somebody saved some money by making a DIY 4090 48 gigabyte GPU themselves. Now, you may be hearing about these graphics cards out on the open market market because they're big for AI reasons. You get extra VRAM, you get a GPU core that's pretty good, but this video from a modder and repair specialist shows how you could potentially do it yourself and save a few bucks. The, the video gives a step-by-step -step guide on how to pull it off, and it was 20% cheaper than just buying the 48 gig card from somebody in China directly. Now, this is a big market, and it represents a pretty big problem because while the repair specialist may not be doing this and making the 48 gig card, one of the the things that does happen with these GPUs is that they end up being resold with no GPU or no VRAM on it, and it's just sold as a husk of a graphics card to people online who think they're getting a decent deal on a 4090, but it turns out they're just getting a card that looks like a 4090 because the GPU core and the VRAM has been swapped over to a different PCB, because one of the reasons it has to be done that way is because the 4090 doesn't have backside VRAM connection. Connector, so you can't get it up to the 48 gigabytes currently. So people have swapped it over to things like 3090 Ti's or different PCB boards that you could do as evidenced in this video and then makes it so that there's these floating 4090 PCBs out there with no GPU core, no VRAM and people end up buying them and getting scammed that way. So it, this is the reason why it's better for AI because you can make that happen. There's a modified BIOS you can install onto the 4090 to make it all work, but it 
does end up uh, a lot of times making it so that certain people get the short end of the stick on that. And if you've been waiting for new NVIDIA GPUs, you're getting the short end of the stick because reports are coming out that the 50 Super Series has been delayed. These cards that are supposed to get the three gigabyte modules to give them more VRAM is now going to have a delay according to a well-known leaker who says that as of two days ago on the 10th that they're not coming out as soon as people would have wanted them. So the initial rumors were indicating that potentially by the holidays this year, we should have gotten the 24 gigabyte 5070 Ti Super and 5080 Super and the 18 gigabyte 5070 Super, but that doesn't appear to be happening. So the current idea and the current reports are that it's gonna be delayed just a couple months to potentially be CES 2026 for the unveiling of these cards. So if you've been holding out, you might have to wait a little bit longer in order to get them into your system, but also who knows what the price is gonna be on all of this, which I know is a key sore point for a lot of you, as you say in the comments, which let's see what you had to say on Tuesday's episode of Hot News? I can't remember the last time I did anything around here. We got Myth saying, if this turns out to be another rumor that never happened, after two months, I'm gonna say, just let it go, bro, on every B770 article that has comments on it. I, I get it. Let me just remind you, though, that the report said two and a half to three months in terms of when the cards should come out. I would wait until 2026 before you start dunking on all of us, all right? Like, just give us give more breathing room, please, all right? <laughs> and we got Creepy Zod saying, I'll Australian here. I just checked Google Maps and you're right. We don't exist. I'm just sort of floating 3,000 kilometers west of New Zealand. Mind sending help? Nope. I don't mind, but I'm also not going to do it. And then Chandler says, I do have a question. Do you watch American football? And if so, how are you going to watch games from South Africa? I've always wondered how international fans watch the game. I am an American football fan. The way we did it before was uh, at NFL game day, it, or I forget what it was called, but NFL had some sort of plan for international viewers that allowed you to watch all of the games just on online. The American version of it was like so neutered that it was like useless for Americans, but for international viewers, it was basically how you watched NFL games. I don't think I can get live TV working over there. Currently I have a subscription to a TV service like think YouTube TV or Hulu live TV or whatever. And I don't think those work over there, but I haven't checked, you know, I haven't fully fleshed out. I was just going to figure it out once I got there. Um, I might miss like my first Sunday of games, um, but I'll just check the box scores after the fact. Uh, American football is kind of like the uh, bi one big thing that uh, me and my sons do to kind of like stay connected uh, to, to like American culture while we're living in South Africa in 2015 uh, to 2019 while we live there, we would always wake up uh, at 2 a.m. on a Monday to watch the Super Bowl together. Um, and that was kind of like the, the, the big thing that we did. And so uh, expecting to continue that uh, with with this uh, move back, but um, also not entirely sure. I'll figure it out. And then Nicholas saying, next cannibal would be getting around South Africa. Have a good move. That is kind of the thought I'm throwing around is an EV uh, around South Africa, a live stream road trip. I think we could potentially do it. I mean, we we have the Starlink satellite dish. We have the mobile streaming backpack that gives us uh, data internationally. And uh, South Africa has a pretty decent EV charging network, more than I was expecting. So it, it's possible. I don't know if it'll be anytime soon, but uh, it could happen. So uh, we'll keep you updated. It's not gonna be this year, that's for sure. And I'm gonna be done right now because I need to go get ready for the uh, goodbye event. Uh, well, if you're coming, see you there. If you're not, uh, thanks for being part of UFD Tech and bye.